Hello! In this tutorial I'd like to show you how you can make some color template phases in the GrandMA Free software. And now let's jump right into it. In the last tutorial we made this view and so that we can use it again if we change views I'd like to store it. So I press store here call it phaser. So now if we change views we get back what we had. And as we like to make some color phases now, it's a bit faster if we take color picker and I'd like also to add a sequence pool over here. And before we start right away with the uh, color phaser, I'd like to make some sequences which help us. Um, I'll take my Zimmer's group, my Spots group, my Wash group and my LED group, give them 100% and store this for each group as a sequence. Now I label things. Another trick which doesn't belong quite to this tutorial, but for those of you who miss the action buttons from the GrandMA2 software, I can show you. If you um, go in the sequence pool, in the top or left corner on the MA sign, you can change the action here, down here from select, for example, which is the default to go plus. You can close it now, and if you push the sequence, it will start. Ah, oops. I off all of my sequences except the LED ones because I want to start with it and I also would like to change the preset pools because now we're dealing with color and um, as I mentioned in the first tutorial I like to place my phasers in the oil pools. So now we can start right away. I take my first LED fixture and I will store three color presets for it. A red, a green and a blue one. And now I like to label them. Red. blue. Now I take my first LED fixture again, select it, give it the first preset, uh, go to the next step in the step bar, take blue for example, and it will start right away to face between these two colors. Now I press and hold the store button change the preset mode from auto to universal and store it in the first preset pool item of my all pool 4. And because I used presets for this, um, Grand MA labels it already named with the presets I used. So if I clear out everything now, I take my LEDs group with all of my LEDs and I um, take my phaser, it starts right away. 
if I now want to sh uh, show a uh, look if it would also work with my wash lights. I off the LEDs so we can put on the wash lights so we can see things better. You can also see that it works with the wash lights, even though it didn't have color preset information. And I put on the spot and sorry, no, it works also. So I clear out the things. Um, to show you why we did these sequences here, um, it's because if we, for example, had take the fixed the first LED par, and we had set it to 100 in the programmer here, and then we had uh, give it a color, for example, yellow. Um, and we go to the next step and we made it uh, magenta. Now if you would change uh, the look of the phaser editor above here, we go to the um, 1D view, you could see that we have the dimmer value mm. yeah, I can show you in the sheet I think here you can see that we have a dimmer value in our um, phaser stored and um, that's not what we like to do so I'm looking for if we can see it somewhere a little bit better Now, if, if I would store it with this value in it, clear it out. The LEDs would also get a, a dimmer value from there. And you couldn't um, dim them down while they change color, for example. The difference is if I didn't store the dimmer preset in there, or the, the dimmer value, you won't get that effect. And that's because I created the sequences. Now you can do the same stuff as I did with the um, dimmer phases. I push and open swipey and edit the settings and create a new recipe line and now I take my new made color phaser preset and I give it a phase of 360 degrees I label it red blue and now I light up my LED path for example and yes I have to select the group as it works and you can see that we created a phaser 
color phaser with a phase of 360. And now we can copy this phaser, for example, and we edit the settings again. We change the phase to 180, and for example, we take a group of two, take our LEDs, and as you can see, now it changes right away. And I want to delete this one. I want to make another one. For example, uh, we do three colors. So we take um, a cyan in the first step, a magenta in the second step, and yellow in the third step. So you can see I have three steps. Now I press and hold the store key, change the preset mode and store it over here. I call this one, for example, CMY. Oh, um, let us change one more thing, please, take this one, and I would like to change the form of it, and now if you had a console you would see that the update button flashes, so we click the update button and we update the preset so that we have the other form cy square so i clear out everything and i make an another template phaser create a recipe line Take this value, for example, we do some other crazy things. We let it let it shuffle. So if you don't see it, you have to activate it uh, on top of here like a shuffle of four and I like a phase of 360 degrees and now I take my LEDs and as you can see it gets a bit of randomness above here Let's see why square random and I also can apply this one um, to the other fixtures I hope this was a bit helpful and I like to see you in the next one